Howdy folks, today I'm going to talk about modifying headphones. I'm going to actually show a lot of this on video if I can. So these are the Sumgat EA500. They were sent to me by a buddy of mine named Fiddler who actually, funny enough, plays the fiddle. Imagine that. And he wanted a little bit less shoutiness in these and then also a little bit more mid-bass if that was possible. So just to go over a few things, I had to remove the, uh, the little screws from the little holes right here. That's these. And I had to use actually, I had a little tool, uh, sorry, a little uh, hex wrench that fit in there, but I lost it. <laughs> it's so small. And so I just had to use like a, a actually a broken tip of an X-Acto knife to whittle those out. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. I think I ground them down a little bit, but in any case, I don't think it matters that much because I can glue these back together. All right, Simgot EA500. All right, so without the, let's see, get an X-Acto knife. Without the, um, screws in them you should not be too hard to open so let's go ahead and get on this seam right here so getting an exacto knife in there and just uh, whittle 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 wiggle hey look at that nice and easy nice and easy very nice cool Honestly, these are some of the easier ones to open. You just need to take those little screws out. This is cool. Screws, imagine that. Let me open this. Get my fingers in there. <clears throat> and usually when you open these, you don't want to just like whack. You know, you want to be very careful. Sometimes the two pin is attached to the back plate. And then if you yank it out, you're just going to break the driver, pull the, the wires off the driver. Not on this one. So we got some pins here. A little bit of glue, like a little tiny bit. Uh, and off we go. All right. So here's our... Sim got EA 500 driver. We got our left and or uh, sorry, uh, negative and positive wires. The little vent is um, it's just a vent. It doesn't do anything else. Sort of the let me point here. The back of the driver vent just basically has airflow through the uh, little front uh, vent right there. All right. So to add more mid, mid bass, we're going to allow more air into the driver. This is sort of my favorite style of tuning. Uh, a lot of chi-fi doesn't do this and a lot of people don't like it and i know that for a fact here let me just do one at a time <laughs> uh so we are going to get this on the camera and we need to get under the damper and i really do like to save these so i can undo this if i can nice all right so what we see is there's nothing under here that we can poke at least not easily there is a really smash it right into the center we could but all right there's our damper so we're gonna just kind of uh get that off of there and I try not to rip the glue if I can. Cool. And let's just go ahead and stick her right about there for now. Just tack that in. All right, cool. So we're not going to lose that. We know that one goes on this side. Nice. Basic stuff, right? And if you don't have room, you can stick it on the front or the side, whatever. But you kind of want to be able to get it back on there if you just hate whatever you've done. So uh, let's go on to this one. Nice and easy. Cool. Alrighty. Okay, this one's got a little wire in the way, so you gotta get him out of the way. Uh, by the way, I'm using a sewing needle, one of the bigger ones, <clears throat> to do some of this. I found that over the time, sewing needles are some of the better things you can actually use to do some of this stuff with. This one here. Come on, get off there, big boy. There we go. And we'll just pop you right over here on the side. Nice. All right, so we have that now. The EA500 has some dampers right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys. Actually though, that's, um, I believe that's not as bad as it looks. It's actually a damper that was stuck to the outside of the shell. Sorry, I'm trying to do this and look at it, but, uh, and it turned into a big glob of crap. Probably got some ear cheese on it too, but that's actually mostly a damper, so <laughs> try not to get too grossed out okay whatever I'm getting grossed out 
Alrighty, and now, before I go any further... Eh, <laughs> better. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was just uh, some kind of damper malfunction. Now, if you were to add it... Ugh, gross. Get some rubbing alcohol here in a bit, but um, if you were to add a damper to the outside of that vent, then you will get more base, clearly, right? Um, all right, so uh, one of the nice things about the EA500 is we can remove these little tippity tips, and that is a huge advantage because um, we can totally get into these now very easily. Now, um, these bores... Oh are sliding, flying away on me. Sorry. Golly. Alright, so they have foam in those bores and dampers, and then it's kind of hard to see this, but uh, definitely not even. I'm not sure if Fiddler messed with this or not. It's hard to say, but uh, they're not they're not even. So we're going to go ahead and take these out, these foamies. Let's see. I'm thinking Fiddler did not put those in, perhaps, because... Um, it was really stuck to the damper there. Whoa, where'd it go? Jeez. <laughs> it wants to fly away. Sorry. All right, there. Then, get this one here. Let's see. And that one's in there a little bit further, so we're going to go ahead and get a pin. Drag it out. Got shoved in there real hard. And it's stuck to the front damper a little bit. Come on, get out of there. Eesh, geez. All right, nice. Okay. So then, oh, wow. Holy shit. Um, I'm going to ask Fiddler about this, but those are not the same value of foam. That scares me, like, right off because it's like, it's like, was that, come here. <laughs> was that done for a reason? <laughs> this foam thing is attacking me. God. There. So then, like, was was this done for a reason, or what is with these foams? I think it's static. Yeah, it's static. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, so, yeah, different foams. That just scares the shit out of me. It's like, what is going on there? Hopefully it's a Fiddler mod. And if that was Simgot fixing the drivers, I'm going to be highly pissed off. Okay, what the fuck? Okay. That was, that's got, what? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. That's a fiddler mod. <laughs> I think he tried to de shout them by doing that. Oh, come on. Get out of there. That's really shoved in there. Yeah. There. Okay. So we've got a big stack of foamies there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two bores. And let's see here. What do we see? What do we see? God, it's hard to do these with gloves on, but uh, okay, definitely a mesh uh, damper in there with some stickums and stuff. And on the other side, we got a grill with another damper. Jesus Christ, he really tried to decrease the shout. Um, so all right, let me. We need to remove <laughs> the dampers, I think. Not sure. Let me see. So, yeah, we got to remove the damper because basically there's an air gap on the side here. Regardless of not whether the damper was going to work, I got to remove it. Like if the right the right value because there's an air gap on the side, so it won't work. Um, so, uh, where did I put this? I th I'm not even sure what these are. Is that a Tanya? Maybe. Just stick it on a piece of plastic. Could be an Alina actually. All right. So that's what that looks like stock. And over here, we're going to take this bad boy off. Okay. Some tweezers. I don't think I'm going to use these dampers again. It's really, I mean, unless you pull them off really well, it's not going to happen. Okay. So. Now. Let's see here. 
I'm gonna need to remove that damper as well, very likely. But because it's already in place, we're gonna do some other stuff first. This is easy to, to repair and, uh, well, do things to, not repair, but modify. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and do um, the first modification, which is, generally, I like to start with something like a three millimeter, 500 value damper with some uh, hairs and stuff on it, just kidding. So, go ahead and get these out. And they look like that. And uh, so this is always uh, not fun because it just it should be easy, but it's a pain in the ass. So we get a damper off. Also, tip of my little needle is fairly clean. Good, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. Now, one thing you don't want to do is stretch these dampers if you have any ability to not do that. Come on, get off. So, just be careful. All right, got a damper. Got our headphones. Go ahead and stick that right down in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, usually I have to do that about five times to get it right. <laughs> okay, and then we need to press, oh, geez, press it down. So I usually use the other side of the pin. Go ahead and press her down on the edges. Cool. Now, before we do the other side, we're gonna go ahead and graph this. So this is the left side, and we're gonna go ahead and stick the tips back on so that we can do that with, I guess this would be just the stock. Um, I don't know, I, I, it's hard for me to remember if these had foams stock, they might have. Um, but, all right, let me put this into my coupler. Put some tips on her. Let's see. So we're aligning for 8K, as you would expect. Pop it in the coupler. All right, something close to that. Let me um, pull up Roomy Q Wizard and then flip over to Roomy Q Wizard. All righty, cool. Got a, got some stuff here. That was a glamdring I was doing. Um, let's just turn that off. All right, we're going to go ahead and measure this guy. Let me see. Got everything going on there. Got my volumes right, everything else is right. Uh, I need to turn my main volume down or else I'll blast my eardrums out and let's go. All right, cool. So, check out. Cool, and start. Now wait a minute. Um, I always get this wrong. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, we got a graph. Now, one thing I didn't do right away was graph these stock. So the other side is not stock, but I could. But I'm just going to look it up on Paul's website once I get done with this. Uh, Paul Wasabi. All right, so let's see. Where's our graph? We are uh, right there. Okay, so we have 102 to 106. Uh, 107. That is five decibels right there. So other things that I see right off are we have a very nice extended uh, treble out to the 8k peak and then we come down we got a nice well a stabby peak about 15k but um, then we have let's see our uh, mid bass is starting well very 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 early so like about 600 and um, then we have 107 to Oh, 110, yeah. Uh, so it's three more decibels at, you know, subs, so to speak. Now, that is quite a bit. Now, you, uh, right away, we noticed that we didn't actually modify the um, the vent on these at all. And I would say that, so um, I would say this is going to probably be too bassy, very likely. Now, the way my brain works on this is I kind of, I look at the pin again, so we're at five, right? 
But if we were sloping distinctly down after the pin again, and then we don't have, it was like we do actually have a bump at 6K here. So that's, that's real. So basically this is gonna start rolling right around here. And then we have our 8K peak and come down. That's quite a bit of trouble. So overall, I would want to listen to this before I decided to do anything to it. Um, in other words, to uh, perhaps give us more pin again, maybe up to six or seven decibels, and then that's going to drop the uh, the subs and the, the mid bass. But like right now, I'd want to listen to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be back with you in a moment. All righty. Um, very interesting. All right, so here's the deal here. Um, the, that's, that's, that's uh, EDM, right? This is incredibly wrapping around the back of my head immediately. So this is really nice. Usually when I increase mid bass a lot, I get that effect. And so I like it a lot. Um, I don't think there's enough pin again on this. And I also, uh, the, the treble's got a little funny, like, like thing going on at the top end, which I'm guessing is that 15k peak uh, way up there. So that's interesting. Um, so, so at this point, I need to think. So you know, I can change the front damper. If I put in a less value damper, I get more pin again, but it will probably slide forward a little bit from 2.5k. Right now, it's got a nice amount of a uh, 2.5k. So I'm thinking, hmm, probably I'm going to go ahead and uh, subtract some mid bass and replace the damper perhaps with an oxygen because I, th I don't know, we'll see. i probably just going ahead and do the, uh, the, the mid bass shell first, have a listen to that and see if that comes out a little better and then, and then go from there. So um, let me go ahead and go over to that. All right, so here we are, and so to give ourselves less mid bass, we're going to need to remove air going into the back of the driver. We need to restrict it. So, I the biggest value of dampers I have right now are five hundreds. I'm kind of used to this already. So. I could double up on 500s. I think that's probably not a good move. I think that's gonna probably suck too much of the, the joy out of it that I'm trying to put into it. So, you know, Fiddler wants more mid bass, but I think this is too much. So I think we're not gonna go with a 500. I'm gonna say, and this is guessing, you know, the total guessing game. So, thinking, 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 I'm thinking maybe a 250. It's, so that's not a huge value, but it would be enough to slide it around a little bit. I kind of want to see how it reacts to the, Things are totally different on every headphone and driver. So uh, we got some 350s right over yonder. And foamies that are trying to attack me. Get the hell out of the way. All right. So let's go ahead and grab a 250 and stack it right on top of the 500. And I can already tell you I'm going to have to... don't like doing that but I pulled it off I just basically nah I didn't pull it off that sucks usually I use both hands and stuff oh hey I can get it over there maybe come on there we go nice okay so we got a 250 and a 500 and before I forget I'm gonna make me a note let's see so 500 plus 250 cool all righty, let's go ahead and graph that up. Let's see, smash that into the coupler. Okay. And go ahead and do a measurement. It's 36, cool. So this should have less mid bass and more pin again, and then we'll kind of see, whoa, I'm losing headroom there, 6.3, a little high. All right, nice, nice. 
Eh, still not, not, not good enough. Okay, so you know, there's two graphs overlaid. So we can see basically the 250 was in, really wasn't close enough to, to really do much to this. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And um, I'll go ahead and come back as soon as I have found one that you get the point. This is how the iterating goes to get this how you want or how I want. So hold on. Okay, <clears throat> so that's a 500 plus 450, three millimeter. Interesting. Uh, let me fix my note. Let's see. And so we're getting we're getting into the ballpark here. But what I don't like so far is um, we're still a little thick on the mid base, but the trouble here is just like uh, I don't find this to be very natural. I think we need less of this bump right here. So to me, that means we need to get rid of this damper and choose a higher value. So let's go ahead and try that. And to do that, I'm sure that's going to be interesting. I don't remember doing this on the first one, but I'm sure it's real hard. Let's see, so we're going to go ahead and yank this grill out. And I could take the uh, tip off, but it seems like it's a nice way to hold it. Let's see. Uh, okay, cool. So that's just coming out nice and easy. Try not to bend it too much. Sorry. It's kind of worth it to take your time on stuff like this because you might want to reuse parts of these things and if you take your time then you can just reuse them. So bending them or smashing them. Can I get out of there? There we go. There's our little guy. Nice. So we can reuse that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stick that right into the shell. Get off there. Okay, cool. So what we see is a damper that we can now change. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And you know, you can save these, put them on a piece of plastic for later if you want. Ew. Why that? That one is, Jesus. Glue is gnarly, gnarly glue. Yeah, this one's not going to be reusable. Um, okay. Just, uh, that off my tweezers. Get off. There. No? Maybe? There. Okay. Cool. And let's see, just to, I don't know why I need to show people, but oxygen. Tanchgem. All right, I had a quick phone call. So here's our oxygen dampers, the gold standard, they're hydrophobic or nano coated or something. And basically they don't plug up very easily. And uh, go ahead and slap one of those on there. Let's see. This is not going to be easy to do on camera. This always is hard to get centered and all that, but let's see. Oh, yeah, managed to do it. Cool. Uh, that's I'm not sure. Let's see. Go over there. Yeah, we're on there. Nice. Tap, 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 tap. I used to kind of just like swivel and smear, but that doesn't work that great. So tap, tap around the edges. Oh, fuck. Edges. All right. Nice. Let's see where we're at with that. Slap on a tip. Slap it in the coupler. By the way, I'm always, I'm always, always using wide bore tips so they don't restrict the bore. 
because that is part of tuning. And if you do that, it's changing the tuning. Right on, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's do a measurement. So I'm assuming this is gonna be more bass and less pinna, but also a tighter uh, slope down in the treble. And let's go. Hmm. Not entirely what I was expecting. And that's always, I don't know, fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, uh, interesting, interesting. So we're at the blue graph right now. Huh. Well, we have a nice balance there. Maybe that, you know, might as well try it. Um, wait, how's that peak looking? Okay, so the peak, uh, fifth, that is weird. It's like, huh. You know, I'm going to look at something on the microscope here, because, because I was assuming that their stock dampers were less of a value than the oxygens, but that may not be right. Let's see if we could figure this out. So to do that, we got to first focus. Oh my God, this isn't going to be easy. All right, so then we got to zoom in. Sorry. And... God, those look really similar to me. All righty. Uh, so I had a phone call and some other stuff, but... um. All right, so we got a stacked uh, 500 and 453 millimeter on the back of these, and then a just a Tanshjem Oxygen uh, OG dampers on the front. That's it, nothing else. And uh, so I listened to them. Here is the graph. And uh, so we have it, seven decibels of pin again, right smack at 2.5. Now, I'm going to say that to get that to happen, that perfectly is pretty cool. However, and here's the big however with this right now, I'm just, I don't know, it's got this like kind of like thick thing going, a thick and thin thing going on all at the same time. Um, I would say that, you know, I'm trying a bunch of like rock and roll, old school music. I'm not doing like EDM or any of that crap because I don't think Fiddler uh, does any of that stuff. But I don't know, I'm like maybe... At seventy percent, but you know, out of a hundred that I would want to send these to him, uh, just to make that point. But so you know, what what would I try next? And I'm not entirely sure because it, it's a little bit thick on some stuff, a little bit bloaty. Um, vocals are dipped out a little more than I would have expected, which is weird. I tried some Pink Floyd, and that was not doing it for me. But other stuff that uh, was more guitar centric and, and things like that were doing pretty nice. So I feel like I have to do some more stuff. I may try stacked 500s, um, possibly on the back. I don't know. I, I really, I really think that I need to uh, fix this this treble area. I don't. This like 6k peak right here. I'm pretty sure is is screwing me all up. I don't think it's good. Um, I think I need this to be down. Let's see what are we at. So it's like 5.7, need to be down like to right here-ish or something. Jesus, 2.65, fuck. <laughs> That's quite a few decibels. Um, and also without murdering the rest of the, the treble, uh, hopefully the air stuff. So these are the, uh, this is the, the struggle, right? <laughs> struggle of tuning. But, you know, once you find something you like, uh, it makes it all worth it. So I just wanted to go over this on video. A lot of folks were kind of like curious on how sort of how I do things, how things might happen. And this is a kind of a deep dive into how to do that. And uh, if anyone has questions, just hit me up in the comments. Right on. Talk to you later.